Does your next experiment involve CD68? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against CD68. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and CD68's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick facts about CD68. Cluster of differentiation 68 or CD68, also called macrogelan in mice, is part of the lysosomal, endosomal associated membrane glycoprotein family. It is highly expressed in lysosomes and endosomes of macrophages. Human CD68 is 354 amino acids long and the glycosylated form of CD68 may range from 75 to 110 kilodaltons. If measures are taken to remove the glycosylation, a band may be observed around 35 kilodaltons. Topic 2. Where is CD68 expressed? It is highly expressed by monocytes, particularly macrophages. CD68 protein expression can be found in the brain cerebellum, lungs, and spleen. Lower levels of CD68 expression may occur in the bone marrow, skin, lymph nodes, etc. For more information, visit proteinatlas.org and check out which cell lines express CD68. This information may be useful for designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. CD68 in Western blotting. Finding an antibody for Western blot that has high specificity, affinity, and reproducibility is important. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we infer that mouse non-glycosylated CD68 is around 35 kilodaltons and about 100 kilodaltons for glycosylated CD68. Human CD68 can be seen at about 35 kilodaltons and 110 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about CD68. In 1989, research scientists discovered CD68 in an experiment developed to antigenically differentiate leukocytes via immunoprecipitation. Six antibodies probed different epitopes of the protein and verified CD68's existence. This protein has been commonly studied in several scientific fields. Since monocytes, macrophages, and several types of tumors are known to highly express CD68, it is used as a biomarker in immunology and oncology research. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.